Good afternoon, my name is Elijah White. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Zoll Medical Corporation, uh, based here in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Uh, Zoll Medical um, has a long history in Massachusetts. We were founded by Dr. Paul Zoll um, at the Harvard Medical School. He was one of the first people to invent um, defibrillation of a human heart externally. Um, and since that point, we've had deep roots here in Massachusetts um, with nearly a thousand employees here at our main headquarters in Chelmsford. Um, you know, sudden cardiac arrest is a very important um, and often um, unrecognized public health problem. Uh, more than a half a million people die every year in the United States when their heart just suddenly stops. Um, cardiac arrest is often confused with heart attack, where the heart um, experiences a temporary loss of blood flow. In cardiac arrest, the heart just stops and it affects seemingly healthy people without warning and without notice. Um, so it's our pleasure um, to participate in this program and support the new law that Governor Baker signed into, um, signed into law requiring all Massachusetts schools to have um, AEDs uh, to support their, their student body as well as their sports teams. Um, you know, this is our community, we live here, um, our children go to school here, and it's our pleasure to support this law by uh, donating 180 a month for the next 18 months until the law goes into effect um, to eligible schools in Massachusetts. And how do schools enter to win? Um, on our website, there is a link um, on zoll.com. You can find a link to um, the entry page. We'll take one entry by any school in Massachusetts <clears throat> and we'll donate 180 a month um, at random to those schools until the new law goes into effect in July of 2018. So here we have a victim of cardiac arrest. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Zola AD Plus. Just get the device, open it up, and turn it on, and from there it basically tells you what to do. Unit OK, adult pads. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Hello, call for Hello. Can you hear me? Can you call 911, Hello? please? Attach defib pads to patients for a chest. Tell me to attach the pads. <clears throat> and now it's going to look for the patient and analyze the heart rhythm, which I have to simulate. Attach defib pads to patients for a chest. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. So it's analyzing the heart rhythm. Don't touch patient. To decide patient whether a shock analyzing. is necessary or not. And many patients start don't CPR. need a shock initially, and then it prompts me to start CPR, which is very important. Push harder. And if I don't do good enough compressions, it prompts me to push harder. Good compressions. And if I get tired or forget to do CPR, it'll tell me to start again. Um, so this is one of the original uh, cardiac pacemakers made by the Electrodyne Company. Uh, this device was invented by our founder, Dr. Paul Zoll, who was a cardiologist in Boston um, around the time of World War II and was the first person to uh, discover how to externally pace and externally defibrillate a human heart uh, non-invasively. Um, this is one of his original devices. This is um, one of the two AED Plus lines that work um, here in Chelmsford. We actually have two identical lines that build production two shifts a day. Um, so every four minutes a unit is coming off the line. So it starts down in this section and every two minutes it moves from one station to the next with all the parts to build it all come to them. The parts, um, because it's a medical device, we track all the critical components. So we have to monitor all the actual parts that we put into the device. So we have to make the device history record with this and keep that record for the uh, life of the product so we'll know if there's ever an issue or we know the whole history about that device. So these devices here, chambers, will go down to negative 20 degrees Celsius for a couple hours and then it goes up to 60 degrees Celsius, so 140 degrees. So that's the operational range that we say our products will work. We test 100% of our products, and every defibrillator will go through these chambers. At the same time, we're doing 250 full energy shocks. So we want to make sure if these products are used, maybe they might be used once in their life, but 
want to make sure they work. So we stress them at this time to make sure if we have any weak components, we catch it here, not in the field. So, so the devices are tested automatically through, the, um, through these machines. So for this infrared port, we communicate with the device and it runs it through the whole test. So 20 minutes later, we get pass or fail from the device. And everything is 100%. Then once it's designed, the last stage is quality. So this group is independent from manufacturing. Their job is to make sure that it was built properly, the device history record is um, proper, and they also want to make sure that the unit is properly configured. Right now, there's about 34 different languages that we can program into this device. So they'll program the language, and then once they say it's ready, it can go out to the field to, um, or be in the stock to be sold.